Hello and welcome back to Doctor's Weight Loss Solution. This week we're studying lesson six, which talks about self-esteem. Self-esteem is what you think of yourself and how you feel about yourself. Self-esteem is typically generated by the feedback you get from others. So how they respond to you or whether or not they include you or exclude you or just the things that they say. You take that information, you process it, and you generate your, your own self-esteem. Uh, that information could be correct as far as who you are or it could be very incorrect. And so a lot of times when you get feedback from others, it's not very objective, it's more subjective and that means it has a greater opportunity to be wrong. Other times people give you feedback, uh, un unrequested feedback, and they may be doing that to even make themselves feel better by trying to put you down. And so self-esteem is really important in determining how you act throughout your life. The more highly you think of yourself, the better the decisions you're gonna make to help you reach your goals. And so this week we're going to talk about some actions that you can take if you have poor self-esteem. In order to change your self-esteem and improve it, you need to think about and analyze the way that you think and the way that you act. One of the things that you can do to help the way you think is work on positive affirmations. Most of us that have a low self-esteem do negative affirmations. You may be telling yourself, I am fat, I am no good. I have no energy, I have no control, I can't stop myself. All of those are negative affirmations. They're things that you think that lead you to create a poor action or maybe things that help you justify doing a poor action. For example, I have no self-control, therefore it's okay for me to overeat, which will lead to more obesity and poor health. Positive affirmations are just the opposite. Positive affirmations, you talk about how you want to be or how you want to change. For example, you can say, I am skinny. So even though if you're overweight, you're saying how you want to be. And you can say, I, I do have control. I have self-control. I will not overeat. And by doing these positive affirmations over time, you can change your thought pattern to be more positive and therefore it will help you to create better actions. These positive affirmations are things that you can write down. You can put them uh, on your mirror. So if you want to write them, write them down or type them up, you can put them on your mirror so you see them every day in the morning uh, in the bathroom. You could also have them pop up a daily positive affirmation on your phone, on your smartphone. So you can just put it into your calendar and each day you could create a new positive affirmation, save those in your phone for over the next 30 days to pop up and uh, you can even make it happen a couple times a day just to remind you to think positively. At first it may seem weird. If you are overweight, uh, even significantly overweight, and you have a positive affirmation to say, I weigh 165 pounds. You may feel like you're lying to yourself at first, but this isn't a lie, it's projecting to the person that you want to be. And it will be weird at first, but as you continue to do it, you will get more used to it as with anything that's new. And so I strongly suggest that you write down your positive affirmations and that you make them up for you. And, uh, and they, they should correlate with your goals, what, who you want to be. So write them down. You can put them then up on your mirror so you see them every day or anywhere else where you're going to look every day. Maybe if you uh, have a workstation, a desk uh, at work, you can put them near your computer. You can put them wherever it's going to be convenient that you can see them. And then also have it pop up on your smartphone. That's a great idea to be able to see them on a daily basis as well. You also need to be able to surround yourself around the people who love you and care for you and want to help you be that person that you're, you are projecting to be. So if you have some friends or family that you find are just uh, overall negative towards you, then I strongly suggest that you uh, avoid them during this time of weight loss. It will be detrimental in helping you to be able to reach your goal. Or address it with them and tell them who you are projecting to be and who you're striving to be and ask them to help you uh, reach that goal and ask them for encouragement on a daily basis so that you can be a healthier you. Another thing you can do is accept compliments. People may say, hey, I like how that looks on you or are you losing weight? You look great and it's sometimes hard to accept a compliment. And so my suggestion for you is just to say thank you. 
I think so too, or thank you, I really appreciate that, and just leave it, leave it at that. So often when we get a compliment, uh, we may say thank you, or we may say, oh, I've only lost two pounds so far. I want you to be able to just accept that compliment and move on as positive affirmation to help you get to where you want to be. And so the second thing that you can do is accept compliments, say thank you, and then move on. The third thing you can do is create a list of positive things in your life, uh, a list of blessings in your life. Sometimes we get caught up in the daily negative things that are going on, especially if we watch the news. And so I would like for you to create a list of all the fantastic things in your life, all the things that are going right, and I want you to focus on that list. And when you're having a really tough day, a really bad day, I want you to pull out those lists and have it help you remind you of the things that are great in your life. This is something you could fold up and put in your wallet. It's something that you could also put on your mirror or at work. And this will help you to remain positive even during the uh, most challenging times as you're going throughout this weight loss journey and, uh, and better health. And so those are three things. You can have positive affirmations. So work on getting the negative thoughts out of your head. And number two is to learn how to accept compliments. So when people say that you look great or that dress looks great, that shirt looks great, the pants look great, whatever it may be, just accept that compliment, say thank you so much, I've been working hard at it. And then the third thing you can do is uh, to write down all the blessings in your life, all the positiveness in your life, and focus on that even during the worst days uh, that you're having, during times of depression, during times of anger and frustration, and it will help pull you out of that. So every day you wake up, you get to make a decision. Are you going to be positive or are you going to be negative? Nobody can make you positive. Nobody can make you negative. Nobody can make you have a good day or make you have a bad day. That's a decision that you uh, can make for yourself, and that's the beautiful thing. You get to choose who you want to be, and you can make that choice to be a, a content person, a joyful person, a happy person, but it doesn't come easily. You need to work on it. You need to do positive affirmations. You need to accept the compliments and you need to uh, focus on the blessings in your life. And so self-esteem is a, a big part of this uh, journey to better health. And this week lesson is pretty short because there's not a lot of steps into getting better self-esteem. But even though there's not a lot of steps, it sometimes can take weeks in order to develop the better self-esteem because you have to practice. Just like anything, you need to practice in order to get very good at it. This lesson doesn't require you to buy anything. It's all free, and it doesn't necessarily require you to get help from others. You can do this all yourself. I know you can do it. I know you can think positively of yourself, and I know that uh, you have blessings in your life that you can focus on right now. And so we believe in you. You're going to be that healthier person. You're going to be thinner. You're going to reach all your goals. You will succeed.